welcome back to my channel or if you are new here thank you so much for watching and clicking on this video so for today's video I'm gonna be trying out the new covergirl clean fresh silk milk foundation and it's just gonna be a kind of first impressions what I think about it on my skin you guys are gonna see it from start to finish literally my skin has been so bad lately I just got off of my period so it's finally kind of drying up but the beginning of the week whenever I started my period literally like I just got so much acne on my jawline so we're gonna be trying out this new covergirl foundation this foundation has gone honestly viral like a lot of people are like oh like it's amazing so I wanted to try this foundation out today for you guys. I got a few DMs if I was going to try this. And so I just went ahead and bought it. I want to say it was like, let me get an accurate price point for you guys. Um, so accurate price point for this foundation is $11.99. And I did use my Ulta Rewards. So it actually wasn't this much. But I bought a few other things, some skincare things. That I needed so if you guys want to pick this up you can pick it up at Ulta they are out of a few shades I got the shade 550 light medium and that's only because I've been a lot lighter than I usually am in the summertime so I'm just gonna kind of apply this to my face and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts I'm going in with my hand who illuminator night serum that I have been using as a moisturizer because it's been kind of cold here in Florida so I, I don't know why you guys, I just really love this as a moisturizer. It just smells so good and <clears throat> it dries down so nice. I don't think I'm going to do lashes today. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do lashes today just because I'm not doing like a super dramatic, it's more subtle today makeup look. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the foundation, and you guys know, if this bothers you, just go ahead and fast forward through the video. Literally, everybody loves to, like, comment on how I apply my foundation. Like, I just don't see the point in, like, putting it on your hand, and, like, when I'm doing, like, a f like if I'm applying makeup to someone else, obviously, like, I'm going to put it on my little tray that I have that's, like, you know sanitized and stuff but for myself like if it's just going on my face I don't see the big deal in applying it like this like I've literally gotten so much hate because I apply it with the nozzle do you guys see that if this foundation comes out of clothes but this is really not budging at all um, back to what I was doing, for starters, it has a really nice smell. It smells like coconuts with, with coconut milk and aloe extract, so I definitely wouldn't put it past this foundation to have a coconut smell, but and I'm just going to be going in with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I'm just trying to use this up. I told you guys about this in one of my other videos. This just needs to be out of my makeup collection. I've had this for so long. And it's taking forever to get through this tube, too. Like, I used to use this concealer on a lot of my girls that I would do their makeup for homecoming and prom. So, I'm actually thinking about just decluttering it. And if somebody wants it, like, they can just have it. Because it was so expensive. I can't even remember how expensive that NARS concealer was. But it was definitely not cheap. And... I bought it whenever it like first came out because I was like, oh, like this is the hot stuff, you know, like I have to have this. Okay, so, so far with concealer on top of it, it doesn't look that bad. These acne marks are just so hard to cover up, you guys. Ugh. Going in with my Laura Mercier powder. We're going to see how the foundation looks after everything is set down. I'm going to get my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 
palette I look out for you guys. I do have it right here and I've been wanting to do it. <laughs> I just, I have to have like the right day to like sit down, be able to film everything for you guys and it just hasn't fallen into place this week and last week. It was just absolutely insane. I'm preparing for like, we did like a mock state board exam so it's like my week has just been so, so crazy, but I'm doing my best to get everything out for you guys. Just give me some time. I'm starting to learn how to edit on the MacBook. I've never like even touched a MacBook in my life except for like in the Best Buy store. So me having to learn like how to edit on it has been really difficult for me just because I have no clue like what I'm doing. So give me a little bit of time. I am trying to watch videos. Of course, YouTube can teach you anything. So I am trying to watch a lot of videos to learn. <clears throat> so then we're contour today. I'm just gonna be going in with my NYX three steps. You guys know that I love this so much. I use it all the time. I'm honestly just trying to get this out of my collection as well. So then I'm just going to kind of bronze up my cheeks a little bit. not doing any like harsh contouring you guys know I just kind of dust it over try to make my forehead look a little smaller put it on my nose and we can dust away that setting powder I am gonna put my MAC powder over it and see if that does help Okay, so right off the bat, I'm having a little bit of trouble blending my bronzer over this foundation. So just keep that in mind if you guys are going to purchase this foundation. I usually don't have to work my bronzer this much on my face. And it's leaving a little bit of just some harsh lines right here. But I did have a little bit of trouble blending that out. So then I'm just going to be going in with... One of my favorite Tarte blushes, you guys. You guys know I love this blush. This is in Feisty. And I'm just going to be using the same brush just to put a little bit of that on my cheeks. Okay, and then like I said, I'm going to be going in with my MAC Studio Fix powder. And I'm just going to kind of... Oh, I got this new brush in my Ipsy bag, and I've been really wanting to try it out. If I could find it. It's this brush. It's by Moda Pro, I think. And it's the BMX 255 Accentuate brush. It just looks like this. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this MAC powder and putting this under my eyes where that foundation is a little more translucent and doesn't look like it's super full coverage. And then I'm just going to be putting a little bit of this MAC powder on these pimples just for a little more coverage. You guys know that I absolutely love this MAC powder too. I highly recommend getting this powder it's so full coverage for a powder foundation it's probably one of my favorites you guys bare minerals has some really good ones but that one is like my all-time favorite powder foundation in the entire world so then for highlight i'm not gonna be doing any crazy highlight today i'm just gonna be going in with the big becca opal that you guys know that i absolutely love And I'm just going to put a little bit on my cheekbones. I only have a perm scheduled today in the salon. So I'm not going to be doing like a lot, a lot of makeup. And then I think I'm just going to be popping that bronzer in my crease. So I'm just going to be taking a Morphe M330 brush. And I'm going to pop a little bit of that bronzer, a little bit of that bronzer in the crease, just to give my eyes a little bit more dimension, and they won't look so dull. And I also have hooded eyelids, so they won't look so hooded as well. 
So see, it just gives a little bit of a warmer dimensional appearance. Then for mascara today, I'm going to be going in with my Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. This is so old, you guys. I don't know if you can see, like, the caked on stuff from my makeup drawer. I'm just trying to get rid of this. That's why I've been using this, like, all the time in all of my videos. Because I just need to get this out of my collection. It is a really great mascara. It builds up really nicely and it makes my lashes look super full and long. And I haven't been wearing lashes as much as I usually do just because I'm trying to give my eye lashes like a break. They're kind of sparse and I can tell that, you know, me wearing lashes every day or every other day has kind of put some weight on them and taken a toll on them. But I mean, you can see like it does do a good job of making the lashes look really nice and long. Ooh, I have a test today. Okay, it's only eight. <laughs> I need to be leaving. I do have a test today, so only have a few more minutes and then just to set everything down I'm just gonna be going in with my elf makeup mist and set and then for lips today I'm just be going in with this gloss which one is it I'm going to be going in with this gloss. This is from my Ipsy bag. This is the brand, I think I'm saying it right, Ciate London. This is their Lip Luster lip gloss. And you guys, this has been so nice. It's in the shade Wildfire. And this is just a really like peachy lip gloss. You can see when I put it on. It's just a really nice like moisturizing lip gloss. And then, yeah, that completes my first impressions for the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Silk Milk Foundation. If you guys want to pick this up, like I said, this video is not sponsored, but you can pick this up. I will leave the link down below of where you can purchase this. You can give it, get it for about $11.99 at Ulta. I'm not sure what you guys can get it for at other drugstores, CVS, Walmart, but you guys can definitely check that out. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions of the new CoverGirl Silk Milk Foundation. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, you guys. I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe if you are not part of the Jam Fam already. I would love to have you guys, and I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video.